In this video, we are continuing to talk about inferences. So far, we have discussed making an inference from a story or from a picture. And today I want to talk to you about how inferring the meaning of a word or inferring what a word is. If you're having trouble sounding it out, you can look at the beginning and end of the word and think about what it means and make an inference. So let's look at some examples. Let me move this up. Okay. What do you infer the word fortify means in this sentence? Eat your breakfast. You need to fortify yourself for school. So what do you think fortify means in this sentence? Well, the word fortify has a, at least a couple of different meanings, but in this sentence from Anne of Green Gables, Marilla wants Anne to build up her strength and energy before she goes to school for her first day. Does that make sense? Eat your breakfast. You need to fortify yourself for school. You need to build up your strength for school. Now, let's think about... Can you infer what word belongs in the blank? All the blank at Walmart were buying toilet paper. I read this sentence and I can't figure out this word right here, but I see that it starts with a P, it ends with an E. I'm having trouble sounding it out. So why don't I just think about the sentence for a minute? What word would make sense here that starts with a P? All the P at Walmart were buying toilet paper. Huh, well it must be people, because people are the only things that can buy something at Walmart. And that would be correct. P-E-O-P-L-E. -E. People. Let's try another one. The girl was so blank, everyone around her had to smile too. Hmm. I'm having trouble sounding out this word, but I see that it starts with a CH and it ends with the full. We've been talking about full this week. The girl was so full of something that everyone around her had to smile too. What do you think that is? Cheerful. C-H-E-E-R. Full. The girl was so cheerful, everyone around her had to smile too. Very good. One more. This will be our last one. You have to do your chores. Blank. You can play. I bet you know this one. Starts with a B, ends with an E. You have to do your chores before you can play, right? Would before work here? Starts with a B, ends with an E. B-E-F-O-R-E. You have to do your chores before you can play. So I hope, I hope that this little lesson helped you see how you can use the skill of inferring to figure out the meaning of a word or just to be able to read a word you haven't seen before in a new sentence.